Welcome back to the channel. Today uh, I got a quick project. I am replacing the material on our kitchen table chairs. Uh, dining, room, dining room chairs. Uh, it has a the fake leather and the fake leather has peeled off on most of it and the cushions, uh, the foam inside is pretty much compressed so uh, I've got one of the chairs down here that I'm sitting on right now. I'm going to take it apart. I've got the material. My wife and I picked out some material. We've got some new foam and uh, we're going to put it together. Now here's, the, uh, here's the first chair I'm going to do. First step is I need to take the seat cushion off of the chair. So I'm going to turn it upside down and unscrew it. There's four screws holding it on. Uh, this, so that'll be my first step. Okay, next step I'm going to go and take the staples out. Well, I've almost got all the staples removed, and there was a lot of them. All right, so I got our foam. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark a line roughly a half inch away from the edge of the wood and cut it. Alright, so I've clamped it down. I'm hoping this works. I'm gonna pull it back and it's right on my line, so we'll see what happens here. Well, that wasn't pretty, but it worked. All right, instead of trying to put something like this back in there, which is, I think, the reason why a couple of the chairs failed, uh, the kids would kneel in it or stand on it or something, or just butts over time made it uh, sag real bad. I'm not going to put that back in. I have basically glued some of this to it. Oops. Some of this. Um, revolution ply. So, I don't know, I've had it for a long time. Don't know where I got it from. I'm sure I got it from Lowe's, but... Alright, so, now I'm going to take my material and uh, staple it on. All right, well, as you can see, I started stapling it, the fabric on already. I started here in the middle, on the front, middle on the back, and the middle on both sides. Ran a whole bunch of staples across the front here. Ran the staples across the back, along one side, and now I'm doing this side here. Now I'm going to do the corners. And uh, I'm not a pro at this, so I'm just kind of doing what I think looks good. <coughs> and that's gonna, I'm gonna live with that, even though I don't think it looks very good. So I'm doing that to all the corners. Okay, 
Okay, so now what I'm going to do, since I got all the corners done, I'm going to go ahead and just cut off the excess on the corners. All right, well, I've got the, the fabric, I cut it, I stapled it on, and I just got done putting the screws in. I'm not gonna worry about putting any material here. I, thought, I mean, I could put some, uh, like a weed barrier, weed cloth on here, but I'm not worried about it right now. So I'm gonna turn it over and see how it fits. Well, there we go, one covered chair. Yeah, we plan on doing the backs later with a different type of material. We just don't know it yet. Well, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, it's a great time to subscribe to our channel. Uh, leave me a comment or suggestion down below. Let me know if you've ever done something like this before. Thanks for watching.